Welcome back to Heard on the Street with me, Russia. And today we're still with Bogi Wichaksono, the Director of Telecom Wholesale and International Service. To provide services mm. for either people or businesses, mm. I wanted to talk about satellite. Oh, yeah. You recently just launched a satellite. Yeah. Can you share what's the strategy behind? How does it play to sustaining and continuing your network yeah. leadership in Indonesia? Yeah. To connect every single people in all over Indonesia is almost impossible yeah. by using cables. Yeah. How many years you will spend for just only connected people True cables. in all over Indonesia? Yeah. It's impossible. Mm -hmm. So that's why we are still uh, keep the satellite business as one of the connectivity pillar. Mm -hmm. Why? Because the nature of satellite can cover up all the people for the whole nations. Mm -hmm. Since you can see the sky, you will get the signal. For satellite, also facing evolution. Mm. What is what kind of evolution? Mm -hmm. You know that digital literacy in Indonesia. Mm -hmm. Which one you you feel very very losing? You lose your wallet or you lose your cell phone? Definitely cell phone. Cell phone, right? Yes. Because the money is in the cell everything phone. Everything is, is cell phone. The connectivity or digital literacy for almost all of Indonesia people, it is a must. Yeah. Being a must. So that's why the requirement of the data, as I talked before, become more demanding and demanding. Mm. They need more and more bandwidth. Yeah. They need more uh, a slow and slower latency. Yeah. So that's why uh, for satellite business, we have to uh, follow the evolution. Mm -hmm. Right now, the evolution is high throughput satellite. High throughput satellite is satellite that has capability to carry information maybe 30, 40 times bigger than previous one. So Telkom to launch the new satellite in Florida. Mm -hmm. And the satellite is uh, being launched by uh, SpaceX, and mm -hmm. the capacity is around, if I'm not mistaken, is above 30 gigabit per second. And hopefully, that satellite can uh, bridge the demand and the supply for the rural area. All over Indonesia will get the strong signal from this satellite. Wow. The satellite can be used for empowering the cellular communication. People have cell phone. For sure, they cannot connect to the network mm -hmm. by using satellite. We have to empower Telkomsel or the cellular company mm -hmm. or the ISP to use satellite. Mm -hmm. And of course, this is more competitive in terms of prices for the uh, affordability of people to buy data plan, the data plan for the uh, communication, data communication. Okay. Now, I wanted to talk about sovereignty. Mm. Because it's related to satellite and the reason oh. why we needed to have 100% yeah. yeah. all the skies covered by yeah. satellite of yeah. Indonesia is yeah. to ensure that the country is protected, protected. from satellite yeah. of Indonesia. Yeah. Since we can see the sky, yeah. we can connect it to the satellite. Yeah. So every people thinking that the satellite is not enough secure mm -hmm. for protecting their data or mm. the communication, right? If we look at the network topology, the information coming from our cell phone going to cellular operators or going to towers mm -hmm. and then towers going to the satellite mm -hmm. and then satellite going to the gateway. Mm -hmm. The gateway is in Indonesia. Mm. So all the cycle, all the route of traffic, all the route of signal mm -hmm. is from handset to the tower, tower and then to the terminal, satellite terminal, mm -hmm. satellite, and then going to the gateway. So the question is, uh, can everybody receive the signal from satellite? Mm. Yes, they can. Mm. But they cannot uh, encode, they cannot, uh, this is like a signal like noise. Right. So people cannot accept it and it's quite difficult to encode the signal. Yeah. But people don't know how to tap the information. The information only can be tapped from, we call it a baseband. Mm -hmm. Baseband, it means that signal, a digital segment already been processed by, by hub or by processors mm -hmm. in the gateway. Mm -hmm. So 
since the gateway is under our control, mm. since the data center gateway is also under our control, I think uh, the sovereignty of data still our control. And why not use satellite internet service provider like Starlink, for example? Starlink and the ordinary satellite is like a different animal, same satellite, mm -hmm. but the orbit is totally different. Starlink, mm -hmm. low Earth orbit, which mm -hmm. is uh, the location of the satellite closer mm -hmm. to the Earth. Because the orbit is closer to the Earth, the signal much, much stronger mm -hmm. comparing with the ordinary satellite. Mm -hmm. The portable phone or handphone mm -hmm. can easily reach the satellite, starting from iPhone 14 mm -hmm. by design can receive satellite signal. Wow. The new technology will come. Yeah. The technology will come for sure. It will change the way we do the business. The competition also will come mm. and the hard competition will significantly shaking our business. Okay. Right? Yes. So we have to be more innovative mm -hmm. and uh, we have to think harder how to put our value mm -hmm. not being disrupted by technology, mm -hmm. but we still have a part of the market. In another hand, in digital era, something that we have uh, changed is a collaboration is a must. We have to uh, collaborate with many partners in order to maintain our value. Actually, I've been initiate uh, communicate with the Starling since 2017 at the time. Mm. So that's why Telkom Indonesia through Telkom Sat. Mm -hmm. the only mm -hmm. operators mm -hmm. that have partnership with Starlink. I built this uh, since uh, 2017 okay. at the time because once the technology going there, yeah, we should not see that the technology will disrupt us. Yeah. But we should think that above this technology, mm -hmm. it should be there is opportunity. Starlink will be new role maker of satellite business. And then we collaborate at the time for connecting every towers, mm. every corporate customer, mm. every uh, telco operators mm -hmm. with data Starlink. Why with Starlink? Because with Starlink, we can get less latency. We can connect customer with the uh, digital ecosystem as same as the fiber optics. But it's in the sky. In the sky and in the rural. In this the is rural most area. important. That's right. Because just only one hub, we can uh, deploy this kind of services very fast. Mm. Very fast. And the affordability or the cost of the network uh, much more competitive. Mm -hmm. The development of the digital economy mm -hmm. in rural area mm -hmm. also can be increased. Wow. This is the mission actually. Yeah. I should protect my business or I collaborate with Starlink. Yeah. If I am not collaborating with them, for sure, we will be disrupted. Yeah. Because this is technology. Yeah. And then right now, we, they are trying to directly mm. connect with the customers. customers. The gateway should be in Indonesia. Okay. So we can control the flow of the traffic. Mm -hmm. We can control the security mm -hmm. on the every connection. Mm -hmm. The challenge is on the mm -hmm. legacy services, maybe cellular. The cost of satellites for sure much, much more expensive than terrestrial or cell phone yeah. as, or cellular. Investment on the Leo is not yeah. cheap, yes. very, very expensive. To cover 24 hours mm -hmm. of the services, mm -hmm. at least they need 35 satellites. Mm -hmm. So basically, you just see which are the best complementary yeah, infrastructure yeah. between yeah. satellite, yeah. fiber, and towers. Fiber and towers. Okay. All right, so that was our conversation with Bogi Wichaksono, the Director of Telecom Wholesale and International Service. Make sure to follow us on Heard on the Street to watch the next video.